Hey guys, how you going? Welcome to Westland Survival, new video, new update. Welcome to 0.14.0. We are in the Christmas update. So, hopefully you guys are excited for this one. I've been hanging out for this myself. Been waiting since, I think since Thursday or Friday, I thought that the update was actually gonna come out and then I thought it was gonna come out yesterday and it never did and well, here we are. So we are finally on the Christmas update. So super excited about this one. A few things to go through, uh, not to mention the obvious, but there are a few other things that I want to sort of touch on. Right now, as you can hear, as you can see, we are Christmas themed. We are snowed in and there are little decorations all around our camp, as you can see. And we've got a friendly little fella over here. Um, as well, so we will uh, touch base with him as well. He's the little guide fella that we've got there. But as you can see, um, we've got a few new things that have happened in the game. One thing that I see straight away is that our uh, our cult here has actually received a bit of a makeover. So that's one thing um, that we've got here. It's called the Lemat Revolver now. And the damage, if you look at it, is 690. And that's a massive increase since um, the the previous um, uh, cult. And, well, there you go. Have a look at this, guys. So we've got a few changes. We've got a Beretta now. That's sick. The Remington is still there. There's the cult walker. Okay. And we've got the Lemetta revolver. That is what we've got now. Fast loading shotgun, coach shotgun, Henry 44 that we can't get yet. S and W model one and you've got the Winchester just over there but wow anyway I'm sort of getting way too ahead of um, ahead of myself here I'm actually quite excited um, for this new update that we have at the minute um, just wanted to see if there were other few other little changes that have been made as I sort of see it but there has been a bit of an update so um, we're gonna get into it I just wanted to see the bit of the redesign that they've done now um, it actually looks a lot more cleaner um, a lot more simplistic so um, I, I do actually enjoy that. Um, just trying to get over to the forge over here. I can't actually seem to get the, um, uh, the uh, what do you call it, to hover over that. There we go. So yeah, as you can see, there is um, been yeah, quite a number of um, uh, redesigns here, as you can see. So it actually looks really, really good. So um, yeah, I'm actually a fan of it. I think they did well with this. So. As you can see, a few other little bits and pieces here. But anyway, let's get into it. So we have the Christmas update, but it's not just a Christmas update. We have a few other things to go through. So what I'm gonna do as per tradition here, I'm gonna pretty much go through um, the, the notes, let you know what I think, and we're gonna head out to a zone or two and see what's what. So Christmas update, the festive event has started and opened for you until the 7th of January. We have decorated your ranch and town and added a little snow. Don't worry, your character won't freeze. Three Santa's helpers decided to stop by and camped at the Christmas spot. Help Arnold, uh, Gina, if I've pronounced that correctly, and Mark, and make his celebration, oh sorry, this celebration unforgettable. A sneaky green villain has stolen the Christmas spirit. Again, track him down, bring back the solemn gifts and find a Christmas star for the tree. Decorating a Christmas tree is always fun. Complete Christmas quests, find tree toys in special boxes, scatter throughout the locations and finish your festive tree. Okay, so that is the uh, Christmas side of things out of the way. Now we get into the interesting things. Recipes and blueprints. From now on, the items will have a rarity. There are common, uncommon, um, green in brackets and rare blue items. The rarer the item, the better the characteristics it has. We also have added blueprints. Blueprints can be found in tubes and you can find them almost in any location. Blueprints level uh, learning blueprints, which by the way have rarity as well, will open new recipes or level up the existing ones. The maximum level is five. We have decided, sorry, we have added a bunch of new weapons and clothing. To open the recipes, you need to get a blueprint. Rare items have unique stats, critical hit chance, critical hit damage, increasing stealth damage over time, slowing enemies, armor, um, ignoring, okay? Item 
description has been changed as well you can find more information there changes and improvements what we have here is the equip torch will now warm your character so that's cool so you can actually warm up your character while you're in a frozen zone so like up north you don't need to um uh set up a bonfire so to activate the bonfire in the northern locations you no longer need logs just light it up with the torch hey that's even better the button repair all has been moved to the main screen um which i don't see that initially in front of me um, as i'm sort of looking at it here we just got the table there the house button and yeah i think that might be in the crafting manual i'd imagine but anyway uh, the character's health has also been increased. Uh, each level you will get 10 points of health. Bandages, infusions and ointments will restore more health. Enemy's health has changed. Adjusted the uh, sorry the damage of walls and chests with an axe. Okay. And fixes finally. Um, fix a bug when tamed animals attack each other. Fix annoying bug when falling into the green screen. Other minor but worthy fixes. Wish you all a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Ho, ho, ho. So, um, a few things to go through there. Short and sharp. Um, just notice some of these that have come through as well. So there are a lot more better healing ointments. You notice that some of these have been buffed and increased. These two are the most interesting ones that I can see here. And let's have a look at the herbal infusions. The all the bandages that we've got here everything is on the up which is awesome and what is that uh matricia oh, i can't even pronounce that i'm not going to bother pronouncing that one because i'm going to make a fool of myself there so i will leave that alone but looks like there's some new items in the game i don't think there's going to be any of the the new items that we're waiting on which basically being a strong leather and all, and all that sort of stuff be very surprised if it has but just thought i'd just bring that up while we're here um, as you can see um, as you can see the whole uh, zone has oh what did I do that for my bad let's just put all that back into our little storage unit there realistically I just wanted to get some water which that really didn't happen did it so let's um, drink some of that up and we should be good to go what I want to touch on as well was um, our new clothing so let's see if this has been changed or updated or anything like that as you can see it has been updated a little bit um just casual redesigns of some of the existing stuff so that looks pretty cool so that actually looks really interesting so i do like what i see there um yeah all right anyway we are going to head out i haven't actually headed out for a little while now so we are going to uh definitely get into that and see what's what wanted to see if the Christmas event pops up for us for the first time um, hopefully we might find some blueprints as well and understand the system actually I should probably look at that as well because they did show some of the weapons and guns that noticed um, that given us some of the bits and pieces Oop. don't want to see that okay so we've got the Christmas event there 14 days it would be um, let me have a quick squeeze into the crafting menu here and just see real quick if there's like a weapon or something like that there you go so um, so basically we can, by the looks of things, if I were to sort of look at it on face value there, if we were to, um, say for example, uh, craft a copper spear, it's going to be a three star out of five off the bat, but we haven't really tested that theory yet. And as you can see, a lot of them, um, do tend to have the said, um, uh, star level so I don't think there's anything that's different so three looks to be the norm until we actually find more um, you know blueprints and things like that and that will basically um, will improve our weapons pickaxes and axes here don't really have any value at the moment um, but as you can see you've got some of the um, some of the values here so it gives you an idea where you're at with things so there you go, so you've got the Colt Walker here which is a one star, so that gives us room to sort of move and improve that if we do um, increase the level on that. And then you've got back up to three up here, three, three, as you can see. And we've got hemp here, that's interesting. The hemp seeds that I can see, well, I don't know. It shows that it's available, well, I guess I'm guessing that's because of my game stage, I'm not getting 
too carried away to say that, hey, look, um, you know, are they in-game? I don't know. I don't think they are, but I think that's something that they would have make a, a more of a, a bigger deal about as opposed to just throwing out the Christmas update with the blueprint. So I doubt that would be the case. I'm just getting a little bit far ahead of myself. But let's go over to the Christmas spot here and let's check it out and see these um, three people that have come past here. Looks like it's a multiplayer zone as well, so we've got multiple people in here. Um, can't really talk to these guys here. Uh, we can actually open up a, a little Christmas gift over here. Ooh, okay. So I'm just going to grab all of them. Why not? Uh, that's pretty awesome. And I just hear someone grunt or groan. But let's have a chat to him here. Oh, okay. So we can actually do a quest. That's so cool. So let's go ahead and do the quest. How cool is that? And this is the totem protector. And I'm guessing if we once we get to about a hundred there, we can um, obviously get um, a um, uh, well a gift, I guess. Um, okay, spirits in the canyon has been become obsessed with Christmas, waiting for a worthy opponent. It's like a gift for them defeating you. Complete the trials in the canyon and go back to Mark. Okay. So you can do canyon trial style Christmas theme, Christmas order. The sheriff is sad lately. Let's cheer him up. Take a bounty, the contract, and complete it. Let's go ahead and accept that as well. Um, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to go ahead and do any of the, um, uh, the spirit caves today, but I just wanted to sort of give you guys a bit of an idea. And we've got our Christmas trader who is over here. Okay, and we can cut down our very own Christmas tree just here in front of us. Awesome. That is so cool. So we've actually got that. And there's a few people over here. Let's see if we can wave to anyone. No. Maybe if I sort of like stand here and just wave. Will they wave back? I'm not too sure. But that's all good. Not a problem. So that looks like that's the Christmas zone itself. So it's here for another 14 days. So depending on how how often that you guys are going to be logging in and doing these quests and things like that, building up your Christmas tree and all that sort of good stuff, um, it all depends on you guys. So let's get out of here. And we will um, see where these little Christmas... Um, areas will be for us to locate our bounties and whatnot. Um, do they have a little ticket thingy majiggy? I don't think they do. Or are they up north? Doesn't look like it. I probably should have read that a little bit better, but if I go into back into here. Okay, so complete one contract. Reveal the Grinch hideout, defeat, defeat the Grinch and go back. So we're going to sort of track him down, I guess. Now I don't know how much or how labor intensive that would be, but I think um, we'll sort of have a bit of a crack at it. I just want to go drop everything off that I got here as well, because I don't want to overload my character here at the moment. So we'll go ahead and do that right now as soon as we spawn back in. Um, we'll see what we can do in terms of um, placing the old Christmas tree. So let's go ahead and build that. And I want to put that like sort of front and center here. And then basically from here we'll have the ability... Is that a map? Oh, okay. So Grinch hide at map. Grinch made his best to hide at the tournament map. But his, uh, but his minions are stupid as they can carry these pieces. Click 50 pieces and restore the map. Okay. So that's cool. So let's go ahead and drop all of these in here. I'm not too sure what we get out of these. Oh, okay. That's neat. So if you open up these things, you're going to get something out of it. I'm actually glad they've they brought back... Ah, oh, I've got those again. Wanted something nicer. But that, that's okay. You've got the, um, uh, the warm winter Christmas clothing, which is cool because the more that you collect out of these, um, the more that you're going to... Um, you know have free warm clothing when you sort of go into different zones like the north zone and things like that um, Quickly want to grab this has been redesigned as well. Just thought I might add as I'm sort of looking at it um, So yeah, it's all it's been you know just sort of rejigged refined a little bit Which I quite like um, I Just want to feed our little horse here 
because he hasn't had some food in a little while. So let's go ahead and do just that. And let's just jump on. And look, what we might do is we may just head into a quick basic zone and we'll sort of switch it up a gear and see where we can sort of find this Grinch if we can, of course. I'm hoping as well, please, I hope this is not going to be another um, Halloween update. That was really, really poor, the way that that was implemented. The fact that you couldn't find any more pumpkin heads and things like that, it just wasn't really worth it. So he's hoping that this is going to be a better, um, uh, uh, sorry, uh, temporary event. And if that's the case, great. So I'm really interested about these blueprints as well. So. I want to see what they look like when, if we do find them. That looks like a Christmas tree actually. So they've actually got spawning Christmas trees in the zones, which is quite cool. Um, oh, oh, whoops. <laughs> I sort of went out of the zone there. That shouldn't have happened, but that's okay. We'll, um, we'll quickly just jump back in and see what's what. So yeah, so the blueprints, interested to find out what I get out of them and how they will sort of work and contribute to you getting um, better weaponry, better armor, um, possibly better abilities as well. I think as I, as I said, I'm just sort of quickly rereading it. Um, yeah, so rare items have unique stats, so critical hit and all that sort of stuff, critical damage. So I'm really interested to see how all this will work. So I'm sure they've been sort of, you know, mucking about with this for a little while now. And, you know, now that they've got it up and running, you know, we'll see how this will sort of work. But, um, let's have a look. Oh, here we go. Is that one? That's a common tube. Let's go ahead and open that up. Okay. Oh, so it looks like we've got an archery looking, um, composite blow, uh, bow blueprint. Okay. Learn, um, uh, learning the blueprint opens up new recipes in the workshop or improves existing ones. Okay. I'm going to take that with me anyway. Um, and we'll leave that all behind. So that's interesting. Do we? Can I actually read that? Okay, so we we'll learn it. Oh, there we go. So the composite bow actually went up, as you can see. Blu uh, blueprint level went to uh, star four, and this would have been like a, a star three. You get your exp. As you can see, damage went up by twenty, and everything else stayed the same. So that's neat. All right. So let's go ahead and take all these guys out here. This gun is ridiculously strong now so I'm not gonna have any problems going into these southern zones and farming for you know certain materials like ash and all that sort of stuff um, so let's see what we've got over here is this a little area that I want to see no 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 there's nothing here that's the exit over there um, coyotes coyotes oh, outlaw goodbye ah here we go hey guys what's going on Merry Christmas to you guys, uh, probably not so much now, um, take a nap, how about that, uh, let's just heal up on these and let's see what we can find over in here, we'll go into another zone as well and check that out, but um, oh, here we go, here's another one, um, let's open all, and we've got some uh, pants that we've got here, Deputy pants. Oh, this was the. Um, oh, is that that? No, actually, that's a common thing. All right. Oop, goodbye. I heard you coming up behind me, so may as well just get him out of the way. You know how it is. Um, okay. So if oop, there's some more here, awesome, awesome. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. And this will be delivered. Oh, hey. Oh, this is Grinch. Hey, 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 come back. This guy just takes off. Okay, he just came out of nowhere. It sounded like an acre the way that he was running into the zone. He was really, really fast, actually. I won't be able to actually catch him. That's the problem. So, I don't think he took anything off me. He just sort of attacked me. But we'll double check, of course. Um, nothing was stolen here. I can't actually use that yet. If I learn that... So we've got the deputy's jacket that we've just increased again. 1600 EXP, that's a lot. Um, okay, and that's just a common blueprint, so nothing of um, you know high rarity or anything like that. Plus 28 defense and warp stays the same. So that's neat. Um, okay, let's head over to 
Should we just go into a hard zone? Let's just go into a hard zone, why not? I think that, that'll be the way to go. Problem is, I don't actually see anything that I can sort of, um, uh, you know, resemble where I should be going for these bounties, which is quite interesting. So, I'm not too sure what that's all about. Interested to know that how these new enemy, well, sorry, these enemies have changed their health meters as well, because that was stated in these um, update notes. So, wondering if that's sort of going to play a role or rebalance the fact that some of these weapons that we've got have now gotten a lot better. Um, but otherwise, yeah, if they haven't actually increased or if they, they're still the same, I think we've just got a pretty overpowered weapon here. Well, I have at the moment, actually, to be honest with you. So, um, but I'm really interested to find out what um, what we can find through these zones here. So, what to find a few of these chests. Ah, I noticed a Christmas um, a Christmas present there. So we are definitely going to check that out in just a minute. Ooh, the bear is 1,900 hit points. Wow. Okay. Well, there you go, guys. Ooh, fish take all that. That is absolutely crazy. I wonder if this zone still has random um, NPCs running into the zones like they have in the past. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. Oh, yes, they do. Wow. Well, there you go. I mean, it's still pretty relevant to what it was beforehand. I think that just sort of initially throws you off, I guess. The fact that it's a higher HP um, uh, well, bear in this case, and the BS is still the same. Go, but sort of took him out quite easily. Actually, with minimal fuss, to be honest with you. And we've got the gang there, took him out quite easily. Ooh, he's dropped the ranger coat. Let's just take that linen cloth. Let's just take that. So they're dropping different uh, materials now. That's pretty cool. Let's see what we've got out of here. Nice candy canes. Let's just take that. Hey, see you there. Just take out this puma. The other Piazza, and just take you out. Literally, I'm just gonna go right through the zone. Oh, there's a ghost now. Okay, they didn't have that in the previous update. So it looks like initially the southern, well, the harder zone. So anything red orientated zone looks like they're, you're gonna have a high probability of having um, uh, these little presents drop. So, which is a good thing. Because you definitely want to, it actually definitely encourages you guys to come into these zones here and, you know, check these things out. Um, Alright, let's see what we can get out of this little um, drop chest here. And nothing out of the ordinary there. Acre, get out of here. Um, actually, I couldn't even one hit that guy. And the minion, ooh. Ooh, I just found a minion. That's cool. Awesome. Okay, cool. So I just found another um, another piece to the puzzle there, which is awesome. The radar, what do you have? Do you have anything interesting? Oh, they are dropping better loot. Oh, wow. That is so good. That is really good. Um, let's just pick up some of this. Ooh. Okay. Oh, you can't actually... Um... Yeah, you can't actually... Um... He's gonna have to. Let's just run out of the zone. So he's like the uh, the Wendigo now that he you can't actually kill him. That's really interesting. So I don't know what that's all about. But let's see if he come if he spawns back in if you leave the zone and come back in. Because I think you might have to you might have to let him attack you. I guess. I don't know. I think this was the same last year for last Christmas update. I think this was pretty much the same. So yeah, really, really, really interesting. But let's just head back in anyway as it is. And what I might do as well, just to sort of finish off for this video, I might just head into the town and just check that out as well. Because I haven't actually been there, I just want to see what the town looks like. I'll at least show you guys as well what that sort of looks like. Um, and let's just kill this raider. Um, you didn't drop anything for me. Okay, so <laughs> look, he comes back. Yeah, okay. So, he, he takes a swipe at you, and then he's out of here. So really, not much to sort of speak of, to be honest with you. But let's um, let's just keep going. The Black Jaguar has also got a bit of an increase in their uh, HP as well, so... 
Ooh, that's pretty good. That was a 1400 um, critical hit point attack. I don't know if you guys saw that. That's actually awesome. So you can actually get um, critical hits with just, well, you know, with a standard weapon as it seems. Um, as it seems at the moment, I don't know whether or not if, it if it's all dependent on um, different weapons or anything like that, or do they have to be a certain star level before you can actually um, get the critical hit? I'm not too sure. But yeah, I find that really interesting. Um, you know what, I might go ahead and just open up this because I kind of wanted to sort of hang on to it, but in the interest of, there we go, level 4 now, um, defense up by 4, in the interest of space, I think we're going to need to do this anyway, so I do have my horse um, as well in the zone, so I better sort of make use of him at the same time. Um, let's go ahead and see what's in here, I oh, know I've already opened that, that's fine. Alright, I just want to sort of quickly have a bit of a bit more of a squeeze around and see if there's anything else of interest. We've got the other Piazza here. He's down and I'll just take everything that he's got there. And I think we're pretty sure we've got this. So let's just double check. We've got that, that's fine. And yeah, let's see who we've got here. We've got the shooter. Okay, and they are protecting a little Christmas uh, present. So let's just mow these guys down and there is nothing. Hey, where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? Just take out this raider and let's grab all of that. I want to see what you dropped. They're actually dropping some pretty good loot so this looks like it's going to be the norm now for, the, uh, for this update. Uh, so yeah, I'm all for that. Absolutely. Oop, let's just grab that. Okay, and have I actually... I have opened that up, so it's like they spawn in different areas of the map there. I don't know if I'm seeing things or, or anything like that, but they're all scattered at, um, scattered around now, which is kind of different. Oops. God, look at all these guys, and he's... Take him out. Oh my god, they all just came out of nowhere. Um, okay, you didn't have anything interesting. I want to take that. Um, oh, and of course we get our old mate here just comes in to rain the old parade here. So, so far I found one goon, but I've got to go back up to the top there, actually. That, yeah. Because I think he had another piece to the puzzle. So, again, I'm going to spawn him once once more. I want to go up to the top part there. Hopefully that Wendigo don't, doesn't um, spawn back in. We'll see what happens with that. Um, but I really want, really want to find that... Um, that goon henchman. I think it was either here. No. Just take out this gang member here. I think it's this guy over here. Yes, it is. Awesome. So let's just take all. Can we? Oh no, I can't. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to say goodbye to something. Let's just get rid of that and that because I just don't want him to. Um... Yeah. I'm not gonna bother with you, Grinchy. And look at the. Um... Your horse has become a little reindeer, that's awesome. Alright, so final thing is we're just going to head into the town real quick, check it all out, and we'll see what's changed just for the update specifically. But tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, is this an interesting um, update? Blueprints, let me hear you guys talk about the blueprints. I want to hear everything, what you guys are thinking. What your interpretation is um what are you going to do to get all the necessary um uh, blueprints and uh level up your you know your items so i want to hear it all please let me know in the comments down below be really interested to, um, to hear what you guys have to say about that but as you can see we are in the oh look at that in the town everything's all been christmas decked out all looking amazing as it should be um, doesn't look like there's anything of any difference or anything like that at the minute but I think to be honest with you we've sort of covered off and ticked off just about everything that we can sort of think of for now just regarding the update and things like that um, as we said before we didn't really find anything in regards to um, well we have to well that's the big one the Christmas spirit the Christmas order 
So with this Christmas order here, we're going to have to actually do a, um, a bounty, I believe, so complete one contract and then go back and speak to our friend back in the Christmas zone, so I think that will have to happen. But I'm not going to do that now, I'll probably do that in another video, um, possibly, um, and at least that way you guys will get a, a, you know, a better understanding from my perspective as well. But I think we're going to go ahead and leave it here, so again, everything, let's talk about it. Drop your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Are you guys excited about this new update? What it brings, what it means, uh, where could this lead to later on? All these things I want you guys to have a think about. And yeah, just let me know. Otherwise, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Um, as always, appreciate you watching my videos. Have a wonderful Christmas, guys, and a safe New Year's. Spend time with your family eat lots, be safe, do all that sort of good stuff. Hopefully Santa has been kind to you. I think you'll be extra kind if you drop a like button or possibly hit the notification bell, that little jingle bell there. Yeah, sorry, bad puns aside, we'll leave it at that. But um, I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.